What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video and in this video I'm going to create an Emma piano beat from scratch. I'm going to try to create something which is inspired by Mellow and Sleazy. So I've recently listened to their music and I think I could create something similar in this tutorial. So let's get started. So in future videos I'm going to talk more about the steps I'm taking and why. And this is the first tutorial where I'm going to apply it because a lot of you guys were asking for it. So first we want to adjust the tempo or BPM of the project and for Emma piano most of the times so this is around 112 113 bpm so for this beat let's adjust it to 112 so when creating Emma piano beats could first start off with the drums but in this case i'm going to start off creating the chord progression and this way it's pretty easy to build a lot of layers because everything is based on one main element when it comes to the beat so I like to use plugins from Aturia and in this case just let's start off with stage 73 and this is version 2. So let's use this looking for a Stevie preset. Let's open up the piano roll. So for this beat I want to create something which is a little bit more emotional when it comes to the chord progression. And when I want to achieve this most of the times I'm picking A minor. So let's start off with this simple chord. This one. ACE, one octave lower. So maybe inverse this one. So I'm gonna lower down the E one octave. I'm gonna add one note lower, which is also the root note. So this is the first chord. Let's copy this one. So now I'm gonna adjust it from A to F, which is half an octave lower. So I'm adjusting the scale to A minor natural. So now I'm gonna use this D and E because I want the last chord to go upwards to the first chord again. So we're creating something like this. So right now, just copy this one over again. So let's adjust it so it fits the scale. Something seems not right, so I think it's this one. So let's copy it again in advance. One note lower, fits the scale. So this is a perfect chord progression to start off with the beat. And I always like to create loops which are eight bar. So this is right now is an eight bar chord progression. So right now I'm gonna pick a bass. So in this case, which I'm using a lot lately is a bass from the Mini V3, which is a vintage synthesizer. So I found this two legs funk preset. And when adding a bass, you have to make sure you just add the low frequency. So right now we have this color frequency knob right here and it's set to 40 Hertz. So only the low frequencies come through and this is perfect for creating a beat. So right now let's open up the piano roll again from the stage 73 and let's just copy our root notes. So we're now open up the piano roll from the bass and paste the notes. Or now it still sounds way too boring. But I love the low frequencies which this bass is adding to the chord progression. So just like make it a little bit more interesting. So just reuse a note from the chord progression and most of the cases when you apply this, it will sound good. So reusing A again. So this A doesn't seem right. So I'm gonna adjust it to the next note, which is F. Also should go really well together with all the elements. So I think those elements go perfect together. And right now I want to add something which isn't used that often when it comes to Emma Piano. So in this case, I think I'm gonna create something like a guitar riff. I can remember a preset in the Ampere Guitar TC. I think it's this one. So this is the right one. And right now let's create something very simple, but which will in the end add a lot of rhythm. Something like this. Remove this one. Or right, now let's play around with the velocity of the notes. So just, just drag them around at random. So I play around with the position of the notes and just drag them around manually as you can see. So they're not on time. And I think this creates a crazy bounce. So after this, I'm gonna add the drums and make sure it blends perfect together. Almost got that triplet vibe. So right now I'm gonna use my Emma Piano Producer Kit. If you haven't 
checked out the free preview or maybe you've already bought it, go and check it out. So I'm gonna use some one shots from the drum kit. So just let's start off with a simple kick and as always an MA piano. So make sure the volume is right of every note. Drag and four notes, control C, control B. Pretty easy trick to create an eight bar loop fast. And for this beat, I'm gonna start off by adding some toms. So I'm gonna add those two. Create a simple rhythm. All right, now I'm gonna layer it with the second one. We're well, basically building a triplet rhythm, which is a one third rhythm in two steps. So it's this rhythm. So right now let's remove this one, create something like this, and then adjust the velocity. One soft one right here. Just adding a lot of tiny details to make it a little bit more interesting. So right now I'm gonna pick a snare. Sounds perfect right here. So I'm already dragging this one in into the arrangement. I right now something which you always have to add to M piano is shaker loops. And I'm always combining two shaker loops. So I'm dragging in this simple one, select the paint function, or right now it's eight bars, and I'm dragging in shaker loop 12. Just a volume. So right now it's already starting to sound like an Emma piano beat. So right now let's pick some random samples from my Afrobeats producer kit. Let's use this one, which is a pretty soft one with a lot of attack. And also let's add another percussion, which maybe contains some more high frequencies and maybe some reverb. So let's add this one. Great addition. So let's try something like this, which just follows the same rhythm. So by adding more elements like this, you're gonna add more groove to the beat. So make sure to add enough elements. So right now I'm gonna switch back to the MAP and the producer kit. So right now let's use some open heads. So one which contains some more high frequencies and one which contains more low frequencies. I'm gonna switch up the pattern. Layer it with the snare. Let's copy this one into this one. Sounds way too flat, so maybe to the front. That sounds crazy. All right, now maybe let's add another open head. So I've added this head roll, which is not very common in Emma Piano, but it just adds another five. Really wide one. Exactly what I was looking for. Let's add something like a bell, this one. This one is following along with the guitar riff which we've created. So maybe just pitch it up. And just a sample. So right now let's link all these elements to the mixer. I'm gonna add some simple effects. So open up the Akago and I'm just gonna use the Fruity Reverb 2 to add some reverb. So add a little bit of decay. Oh. Makes a beat way more spacious. All right, I'm gonna add the lock drum. So I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10. So if you're using my Emma Piano sample pack, I've saved some of my favorite lock drum samples in there. So we have the lock drum presets. So let's use a random one, nine. So maybe adjust the decay. So the synth is a little bit longer. All right, now let's start off. So I'm gonna create a triplet one right here. And I'm doing something similar. Copy this one again. So I did not want to add too much details when it comes to adding the lock drum because the beat is pretty simple by itself. And I think in this case, when you're going too crazy with the lock drum, it just wouldn't sound nice. So I left the lock drum very simple and it goes perfect together with all the other elements. I 
And of course, we're adding some swing around 15%. So now I'm gonna create the arrangement, maybe add some effects and then show you the result. This beat came out crazy. I think it's still a very chill beat. I've also added another saxophone sample, which is a great addition, totally switches up the vibe. So I've added some more effects to this beat. So I've added a drum roll and a simple impact. And this one just spices up the whole beat. So right now let's have a listen to the final result. First, just some of the drums are playing, not all of them. Made these notes shorter, so it just sounds like a build up. Bass coming in, goes perfect together with the stage 73 chords. Just add a lot of bass because I just wanted to add a lot of low frequencies. Amazing saxophone sample from the Chaga Kid. Switch up the lock drum pattern. Amp guitar coming in. something so remove the kick right here like a pre-hook or something removing more elements all elements coming in more interesting I've layer of the saxophone, the bass, the log drum and the upper guitar. So there I've removed the saxophone just to keep a little more, more interesting during the arrangement. And right now the outro of the beat. So that's it. All right, right now I'm gonna wrap up the video. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe because most of the guys who are watching my Piano videos already even subscribed. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for new Amma Piano videos. If you want to check out the free preview of my sample pack, it's available on my website, so make sure to check it out. And I hope to see you in the next video.